Now, back to Miller on Sports, the show that pushes up its sleeves and gets to work. Everything else is just talk. Brought to you by the law offices of Ron Scholes. Excited tonight, Bishop Kenny at Terry Parker. Bishop Kenny High School head football coach Mark Thorson joins us right now on Miller on Sports. Uh, coach, thanks uh, for making some time for us today. Thanks for having me on. Glad to be here. And, and I'm looking at the Crusaders. I'm looking at the schedule. Y'all are seven and zero. Can clinch a playoff berth with wins over Parker and Baker County. Do you stress a high importance on the district games? Definitely. I mean, they're um, they're the key to the postseason, and that's what everybody's goal is. So, you know, one of the first things we talk about is getting qualified for the playoffs, and the next thing is being a district champion. And those two things are in front of us, and they're in our hands. So we control what we're going to do, and. It really starts tonight against Terry Parker. Uh, your sophomore quarterback, John Wolford, accounted for eight touchdowns last week against Clay. Just uh, simply outstanding. Does he show you something new or different every week? I think I think that's a good uh, good way to put it. He is getting better all the time. You know, mm-hmm. he started every game except one for us as a freshman last year. So he's got a full year under his belt. And you know, I think you could see him making those steps last year, and then. From the spring into the summer this year, it even was a you know a, a bigger change. You could really see him start to see the field, and that's really taken place in the first seven games of the year. And you know, last week against Clay, obviously he was almost flawless. He was um, you know great running the football, and then when we had guys open, he got the football to him where they needed to get it, and just an outstanding effort. Uh, only a tenth grader. What is his most outstanding quality as a quarterback? You know, it's it's uh, p- part of it. I think is just his mental. You know, he, he's really far along mentally right now. He sees the field really well. But if you tell him to put it in a spot, he's unbelievably accurate. I mean, if there's if there's a guy covered, and you see this in the NFL a lot, well, guys will throw back shoulder or they'll throw it away from the defender, and he's already at that point right now where he can do that. Uh, do you think he is Division One talents? Definitely, in my opinion. You know, a lot of it's going to depend on his size, and he's already a good sized kid. He's about six one. You know, 195 to 200 pounds, and if he's six three or four with the uh, the physical abilities he has, I don't I don't think that there's anybody in the country that won't look at him. Uh, very interesting. The quarterback wide receiver connection of uh, Wolford and Ahmad Fullwood uh, is simply spectacular. I, I think it's one of the best that I've seen. Is that the best quarterback wide receiver combo that you've coached since you've been with BK? Yeah, I think that's definitely true. The the uh you know, the the thing we have with Ahmad is a six four kid that runs four four in, in the forty and you know, you don't Ooh. see those two wow. things together very often. Um and then to put that with a quarterback that can give him the football really wherever you need it, it makes it for a pretty potent combination. Probably one of the biggest things is other you know, along with those two guys, we have five or six other receivers that are good high school football players and a couple of them will probably go play somewhere in college too, small at a smaller level. But they're all very good players too. So, the, you know, we we face some teams that have double covered Ahmad, and you know that's something that kind of plays into our hands because we have other capable people. So, right now it's it's a lot of fun, and, and they're playing really well, and hopefully we can keep it going. Head football coach of the Bishop Kenny Crusaders, Mark Thorson, joining Miller on Sports. And coach, I, I like to ask every high school football coach that I have on during this season, what was your team goal going into this year? You know, we start with kind of what I talked about up front. We want to mm-hmm. qualify for the playoffs. Um, the second goal is to win your district because you know that uh, once you win your district, you get a home playoff game. And then we just talked about when we get in that situation, and hopefully we will, that we got to take it one game at a time. And that's kind of an old cliche, but if you start looking forward to too many things, uh, you know, you, you get tripped up in the in the journey. So hopefully the kids are in that mindset. And we're going to focus on Parker tonight, and if we win that game, then we set up a district championship next week at Baker County, and that's right where we want to be. We want to be in those games. We want to be in the spotlight, and if we win that game, you know, we give ourselves a home playoff game. So um, th- those were the goals, and that's what we talked about all along, and that's what the kids work for. And like I said earlier, we're you know we have that destiny in our own hands, and that's a good thing to have. Uh, your closest margin of victory over team this year was 10 points when you all beat Episcopal 36-26 back in September. Who has been the most challenging foe for you guys this year? You know, I think that was one of those games where um, they throw the ball extremely well. You know, they mm-hmm. they uh, spread you out and they get guys going a lot of different directions. So that was definitely, um, you know, a test for our defense. And then I think, you know, the second game of the year we played uh, Fletcher in that game, and they're a big physical team, uh, you know, play a lot of uh, good competition. They're used to seeing uh, the type of athletes that maybe we have. So, it was one of those things that they're physical, they're also very athletic, so that was one of those games that 
kind of showed us that maybe you know we're ready to, to to be competitive and we're ready to be one of those teams that maybe can make a run in the postseason if things go well and uh, you know, I think if I, if I look back, those are probably the two games that stand out. Uh, tongue in cheek, of course, Coach Thorson, but but is it nice to look at your schedule and not see bowls? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think that it's probably a, a lot of fun to for anybody to to, to face bowls. You know, they've they've been the uh, the program that everybody kind of measures themselves against here in North Florida, and year in and year out, they're they're contending for state titles. So that's kind of one of those things you look to and. You hope that one day you can get yourself to that same type of level. But, you know, I'm sure that nobody that has them on the schedule is looking forward to it other than the challenge. You're on the road trying to go 8-0 tonight against Terry Parker. Uh, what does Parker do well that you all have to contain? You know, they do a lot of things offensively with formations and different motions. So kids got to be on their toes. So, you know, they, they run a spread offense, and then they'll get in a wing tee and run a traditional wing tee offense. So you have to be able to play the pass and the run. Then defensively, they have some excellent athletes, and they'll they'll play some man coverage and test you a little bit there. Then they'll bring some some six man pressure and blitzes. So, you know, we've got to be prepared for all the looks we're going to get from them and execute what you know what we do well. And if we do, we'll be okay. Yeah, how has practice been this week? Short week because uh, you know we're playing on a Thursday night, so that's a little bit different. So yeah. everything's been moved up a day. So normally on a Monday we do uh, a little bit lighter practice, go through a lot of the game plan, and, and go from there. And this week we had to start with. Uh, with a Monday practice that normally is scheduled for Tuesday. So it was full pads Monday and Tuesday, and then we lightened up a little bit yesterday and trying to keep everybody healthy and fresh for this game tonight. I'm sure this is not a question and answer that you want your opponent to hear, but as your Crusaders team, have you been able to stay at, at full strength and, and fully healthy through seven games? You know, we had, we lost uh, one of our best players um, in the third game of the year. Stephen Cornier is a defensive end that started for us. Uh, this is his third year. He's a a commitment to um, Air Force Academy is an excellent, excellent player, and you know was a big part of what we what we did and what we did well. And you know we found some ways to overcome you know that injury, and you know we don't have a player of that caliber coming in behind him. But other than that, um, we've had guys here and there that have missed some time and um, you know had had small injuries, but uh, not anything that's been of a major sort. So hopefully we can stay that. You know, in high school, if you don't stay healthy. Uh, you're going to be in trouble at some point because depth is such a key issue. So hopefully we'll keep ourselves healthy and be full strength going in these last few weeks of the year. Uh, Bishop Kenny at Terry Parker tonight. Bishop Kenny, Crusaders head football coach Mark Thorson joining Miller on Sports. Coach, uh, thanks for your time and, and good luck tonight. Thanks, guys. Anytime. All right, there he goes. Mark Thorson, head coach of the BK Crusaders right here on Miller on Sports. That should be a good game. This is a very, very good team.